Hey, we are two minutes past and we'll begin our webinar. First of all, thank you everyone for joining. I see people who've joined from um, Asia, from Europe, as well as uh, the US. So thank you everyone for joining. I know it's um, late at some places, so really appreciate it. Uh, the webinar will be recorded, so you know if if there are other colleagues who could not join, um, you know the recording will be shared. So please uh, feel free to uh, share the recording with with your colleagues. Uh, today, I've, um, my name is Achin Tvarya. I am the Chief Revenue Officer at Industrility, and I've got Janesh, uh, who is the CEO and uh, the Technology Expert at Industrility, and we will today talk about the future of. B2B parts uh, catalog as well as e-commerce, something that is something that we are very passionate about, and things that is driven by AI, driven by cloud, driven by you know making it interactive and and hyper personalized. This is the time of hyper personalization, and that is what we are bringing to the B2B world. So that is going to be the focus of today's webinar. Um, Janesh, uh, do you want to say hello? Yes, thank you, thank you so much, uh, Achin. We are super excited uh, to conduct this um, Think Outside the Machine webinar series, especially targeted at industrial OEMs, um, primarily focusing on how you can increase the after-sale parts and services revenue using new technologies, you know, not get stuck uh, in the old way of doing things, challenge the status quo, and take advantage of the, you know, the newer technology that will catapult you towards uh, the AI driven world because we don't want you to be left behind. So we will we have packed this presentation with uh, you know, several demos as well. So you can see how your you know, parts catalogs can be reinvented um, in this new age and in, in time and age. Fantastic. And that is exactly the theme of uh, today's webinar, right? So when you skip the steps and go to 5G, there are lots of lots of different um, countries in the world where they've leapfrogged from landlines directly to 5G. And, and in those cases, the adoption of payment processes, the adoption of cloud, the types of technology that that have been implemented is, you know, is one mind blowing. And again, it, hap it has happened at scale. We believe that um, cloud and AI is delivering that sort of leapfrogging moment. And in general, I think B2B machinery manufacturers are generally the laggards when it comes to technology adoption. And I think this AI, uh, AI driven uh, and cloud driven adoption in the B2B space will drive this hyper personalization, hyper interactivity when it comes to parts catalog, you know, making it AI ready. So we'll cover a couple of AI examples and getting getting machines connected. So industriality is very much an AI uh, digital after sales solutions for manufacturers. We are a SaaS solution focused on helping scaling servitization, which is including service led businesses for machinery manufacturers. We have a number of well known brands as well as smaller uh, companies that we work with uh, enabling this. Um, and our technology stack is SOC 2 certified. What that means is we are secure and robust when it comes to our operations. We are an AWS partner, but also we our product is published on AWS. So you are able, it's an AWS qualified so software, which means you can subscribe to our software from AWS. And you know, we've built um, the software is built with you know people from well-known companies like Honeywell, Hitachi, and so on and so forth. So with that, let me ask a question, right? If, um, you know, let's say you are a chiller manufacturer or a boiler manufacturer, and what if your customer's machinery goes down, you know, tomorrow? What would happen? So I'm, I'm taking a very much a firefighting example for today. Um, you know, their first question, the customer's first question would be, they want it up, uptime is critical for them. You know, once it's down, they want quotes very, very quickly. They want to know that they can prevent this. You know, machines will go down. The question is, how do you mitigate those risks and how do you react to it to make sure your customer satisfaction remains up? But on the other side, you know, you as an OEM, you will have your maintenance team who are supposed to, you know, go and attend to those machines very, very quickly. You may you want to make sure they are not frustrated, where they are stuck 
for hours or days to find the right part numbers or the right procedures, um, your brand value and trust is on the line, the speed with which you react to these um, firefighting events. Um, we have often noticed um, where, you know, for complex machinery, identifying parts can take from four days to, uh, you know, two weeks just to identify the right, right parts. And if you don't get the quote out quickly, if you don't get parts identified quickly, there is a risk that your competitors or your customers will go with a non-genuine part. And then ultimately you want all of this to be driven by data. You don't want you know, your service technicians or your sales team to make decisions based on gut feeling. You want data-driven decisions to happen. And that uh, is often the challenge, and that is the promise that industry is trying to drive for machinery manufacturers like yours. So today, what we have seen is um, from an e-commerce and a parts catalog perspective, there are there is most most of our customers either have no e-commerce, so they operate with PDF design sheets and Excel-based parts list, or they have generic e-commerce where you know maybe they are offering 300 different types of products. So a customer has to go through all of the product lists. And then within that, they have to identify their right models and the right specifications. And then they have to search from 100 different parts to find the right part that the customers needs. And, and often, you know, the, the volume of orders that come from that e-commerce is, is very, very low, purely because it's generic. After that, it's a very static experience. So, you know, customers are expected or dealers are expected to go through a PDF, search those PDFs for the right part numbers, decipher what those diagrams mean, and then either quote their customers or, or buy those parts. A lot of this is very manual. So there are lots of different manual touch points. They are expected to make a phone call. Then it takes four or five hours to write to find the right parts. And then they might have to go to engineering to find out if, you know, is that a genuine part or, you know, is that being superseded with, with another part? All of that is a very, very manual and slow process. And I read a, a, a recent article where just by creating that whole experience, self-service and digital has resulted in a 75 points higher customer satisfaction than phone-based and text-based experiences. So, so that, ha that has a real impact on customer satisfaction and the machines are disconnected. So that is what today looks like for most companies. What we are going to cover today from a hyper-personalized experience is going to be a QR code-led hyper-personalization. So everything would be specifically for their machines that is in front of them. We will, you'll be able to go through a 3D machine, a machine in three dimension interact with it and then identify the right part. You will be able to chat with the machine so you can you know, find out what that part is and then ultimately you know, get the machines connected and then, um, um, and then have proactive parts reminders. So those, that is going to be our um, cue for the demo, which is a hyper-personalized hyper B2B parts e-commerce. We'll cover the demo in two parts. And with that, uh, Jinesh, I'm going to hand over to you for a for a demo, and and then we'll come back. That's great. Thank you so much, Achin. Uh, um, I ho hope everybody is able to hear me fine. Um, one of the one of the things that Achin mentioned is very very critical. You know, we have seen aftermarket um, take on most of the. Um, uh, after after sale uh, uh, revenues, uh, as well as is one of the most important elements for industrial OEMs to drive, you know, the profitability of the company. So parts and genuine parts, reducing the counterfeits is one of the most important elements for the for the customer. Um, secondly, what Achin mentioned, from a chiller chiller manufacturer or a compressor manufacturer, we would like to uh, essentially offer um, uh, 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 and, and lifetime customer loyalty. What I mean by that is uh, every customer you would like to ensure that 
throughout the lifetime of this equipment, you stay connected with the customer by selling them part service. So that's one view of where we come from. And third, but not the, the third aspect, what Achin mentioned about the old school way of going through the parts catalog and the PDFs and the Excel sheets have in this new day and age where QR codes are everywhere, where you know machine manufacturers are using mobile phones are everywhere, you know where 3D outlooks are everywhere. We are you know very much excited about offering a new platform. So what we offer as a platform is uh, you know an application that get fully customized for the OEM. So you can offer it as a my compressor or my chiller or many of the elements that are there. So this is your experience. There are multiple different applications that are available for each of you. And we are going to focus specifically on the QR codes to parts. So when whenever any QR code is scanned, uh, the beauty about QR codes is that it has embedded a complete you know, link, link towards that uh, uh, link. You can embed the entire link on that particular platform itself. And it can provide a specific example or a specific uh, link to your particular asset that you have purchased. So imagine that you have uh, QR codes in your in your asset. I'm going to take one example of an asset from a compressor comes customer. Uh, this is uh, you know a very complex machine, two stage diaphragm compressor. They offer it to a lot of different customers, and and just like a chiller or a compressor, they have embedded dynamic QR codes on every machine. So Achint will show you a screen in a minute about how these QR codes are embedded uh, on the nameplate itself that you can write on the control panel or at different areas of the control panel itself. As soon as these QR codes are generated, these can be easily generated by our you know, QR code app. So every app here, you know, you can see these are generated QR code entry. So imagine this QR, this particular link is QR code uh, itself. And as soon as you will scan on your mobile phone or your tablet or your uh, or your phone, it will directly go into a very simple, easy to use uh, application, which will uh, which will bring up a preview screen. This is what we call an asset teaser page. So anybody can scan on that QR code, and they will be able to see which machine this is, uh, this which uh, what is this located, and everything else is completely blocked. So what you can see, this is an image which of your own machine. Um, manufacturers put QR codes as soon as they it goes out of the factory, and and it's there throughout the lifetime of this equipment. So your customers, your dealers, your uh, no, um, uh, intermediary system integrators, all will get the same QR code experience. So they will log in, they will see some basic information about this particular asset. This asset has your serial number, your you know some basic model specification, and then everything that you can see on this page can be fully customized. And they see that oh, this is my my chiller um, or my compressor uh, aspect. Now in this particular case, now they they are getting a little bit more curious about your your you know when you scan the QR code, you see that element, and they go right into. Uh, a, a login page. This entire login experience is fully customized and personalized based on your look and feel of your brand of, of your industrial OEM. And in this particular case, you will also uh, be able to you know, sign up. And this, this is the thing which we feel is missing in most of the industrial OEMs uh, is, is knowing the end user customer. Right, and this is the place where we feel we can add more value. Is connecting the OEM to the actual end user owner operator, and this is where you will be able to by quickly is you not know, giving them you know, a simple sign up information. You will be able to capture the user level information. I have already created the user information. This is the for the secure login, especially because you want to capture their username, password, email, company, etc. And you can customize this whole offering as well. But today I will go directly into assuming that I have the, the, the username. I will log in and I will 
uh, as a user, I will be able to essentially, you know, get access to that particular asset that I was looking for. So this is this is the the um, uh, the asset that I was trying to uh, get access to, and I will ask ask for request access. You can also do request access, or you can do permissions. So request for approval. So only administrators will give access to your particular asset itself. So now I will request access. The request access will be you know, given to the customer and then send, send, send out an email. If it was for approval, it will go and kick off a workflow. It will send an email and you will approve. And then this particular user will be given access to this particular asset. So this is how it connects and gets access to this whole web, web app, uh, application that has personalized information about your particular asset. So it has serial number, model number, it has all the you know, specifications of a compressor. It has different sensor values. If these, these machines are connected, they're sending 160 different parameters every 50 minutes um, and sometimes every minute for certain sensor values. So we will get all the data connected as well. So this is secure information stored for you for your details. However, I'm going to focus on exactly just the documents that you would be able to you know, get a quick scan your installation and operational manual and all data data reports or you know, inspection reports in one quick way, but we will focus primarily on the parts view today. So parts is, as you can see, you know, um, we have you know, completely personalized that entire experience. All the Excel sheets for spare parts are completely gone. We fully digitized this entire experience for the customer. And we also offer a complete, fully digital 3D view of your entire compressor. So you will be able to you know, not only see the actual you know, digital you know, compressor in, 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 in digital twin of that compressor, but also you'll be able to see every single part of it, like the motor or like the, the, the diaphragm compressor itself. Or you'll be able to identify the parts you know, in in and see that this particular part, the relief valve, is is really you know um, uh, expired, and you have to light the check engine light. You can click on a particular you know, item on the left side or on the right side to quickly identify a right part. Our customers have more than five thousand parts. We do complex AI mapping to from your bomb to your 3D mapping and our AI engine kicks in to map every single asset, every single part associated with it, um, associated with your specific machine. Um, we also have several different spare part kits, maintenance kits, you know, you can that you can uh, no, order, you can have as built, you can have recommended parts list, all available in this one single view. And by showing them the expired part list, we want the world to move from reactive to proactive. So you provide them a, a reminder that this is a part that you need to, you know, they need to order um, because this is the right time to order and, and it is out, out of uh, out, end of life. So what happened here is identifying the actual part from these Excel sheets and phone calls to, to emails have reduced to three clicks. We essentially take this entire experience, um, build this entire user experience so that you can you know, define your entire element with your full 3D uh, visualization. It works on every mobile phone, on any tablet, and then you can simply go ahead and check out. Now, check out can also have two processes. You can either create a complete RFQ, uh, so you can create an RFQ process, um, and say, I just want to only offer quotes. So it goes back into the coding. You, you select what you want. You click on a particular part um, and you add to cart so that you can add multiple parts. Just like I said, I will you know you can create a kit. You can create multiple parts and you will be able to simply, you know, adjust the quantity. Now you are associating what you're giving a personalized look in a personalized view to your particular asset that they you have purchased or your, I mean your customer has purchased, giving them a self-service aspect or giving your dealers an ability to associate 
which part they are actually buying for what type of asset. Now, this is a very valuable piece of information, not only capturing your contact info, but also ca capturing which parts they are actually buying throughout the lifetime of this equipment associated with that particular asset. So now you are able to, you know, to go in, create a product inquiry, you know, send out a, you know, um, send out a quick email. So I will just send out an email to myself so you can see how this email and I can see the whole thing. I can site subscribe and I can, you know, um, uh, you know, send out a parts code or without any pricing, or I can actually give an instant quote as well, so that you have the ability to you know, quickly see that inquiry um, uh, coming back to your OEM side as well. And all you can now, you have a complete list of, you know, um, a complete list of e-commerce products. You can see your orders that are created. You can see which ones are paid, which ones are fulfilled how you are you know, able to see, you can see the whole coding process and you can see the whole codes associated with them as well. And you are able to check out that entire experience by clicking on a particular part um, and then you know, focusing on and that entire email as well. As you can see in a, in a few minutes, I will essentially, in a few seconds, I will see a complete email as well, as well as we'll, you know, we will get that information you know, quickly relayed down to you. To you as well. So, Janesh, this, so is, this is this the is first beautiful. part of the demo. This is beautiful. So, you did parts identification almost in instantaneously. You put it to cart, you almost did a checkout, and then, you know, and, and then someone is able to um, either find if it's available and then quote them right away, or, you know, if they have an open PO, they can order it, you know, right there and then. So, I think that just shrinks down that whole pipeline, uh, that whole experience, you know, from days to seconds and also is you know uh, is such a beautiful user experience that you know that they are used to in their day-to-day -day life on you know when shopping on amazon so i think this is fantastic um you i think at the beginning you spoke a lot about a lot about ai so where does where does ai come in here um you know we you know ai in parts you know how does that come in can you can you talk a little bit about yeah. that correct yeah so so this is the email you will get now, one of the key elements that we take extreme pride on is how we have data in different um, data silos today and how we can take that data and analyze through, through different patterns and use AI to our advantage so that you can have this entire experience that we showed you, you know, even further enhanced. So today in every industry, um, we have seen that especially in the industrial setup, data is dispersed fragment in different data silos. You have parts catalog, you have warranty information, you have you know data, in, uh, you have um, you know different brands that you have acquired over a period of time. You have different territories, each one using their own ERP systems, and uh, and your data is everywhere. What we do in our technology is we assimilate, we use the large language model to essentially as offer our customers a unique experience where you collect or connect. And we, you know, we take advantage of uh, all the different data sources that you have associated with different areas. We create as if you are, you know, um, you know uh, your asset is like your iPhone itself, and there are lots of different applications on top, exactly like that there are different functionality that is available for your asset itself. So we take data from these assets, uh, sorry, data from these different systems, we assimilate, we create, our AI will kick in to provide a, a serial number level lookup. So you can see all the different elements uh, associated with that particular asset, such as location, timeline, parts, you know, warranty information, training information, and we feed it to the large language model and we enable a complete chat inter interface with your machine. This is your co-pilot for your asset. So let me go into another asset just to sort of show you um, how uh, you know, we have ingested large amounts of operational manual information, you know, inf uh, installation and operational uh, drawings uh, and manuals as, as well. These are data that alarm codes and, and different elements that are all parts of this. We take this, we take parts pricing information, parts information, and we completely from the 3D world, 
you can go in and chat with your machine, with your with your elements as well. So we have enabled all of this data, and you can see for let's take this particular example first, so you know. So for this one, this is a standard compressor. Air compressor, you know, there are different parts um, associated with it, like pumps and dryers. We we take this, and you can you know. Um, uh, uh, take this uh, and, and uh, of course, you know, explore that entire view, identify each part itself. Think about an oil container, for, for example. So as you can see, there is OLF101 is the part number and, and it's inside a parts list. But because we have, you know, ingested all this data and synthesized and created, you know, several different um, uh, uh, ways to make this entire easy for you, you know, now you can query with your machine as well. You can say, what is the part number of the oil uh, filter. You know, so it will understand this uh, element wherever this uh, parts list was there, it will find out the exact part number. So you don't even have to worry about, you know, um, uh, you know going through these 500 page parts like catalog or, or PDFs and so, and so forth. You can also do things like what does, you know, the Alarm code ALM you know, 201 mean. So this could be embedded inside your you know, operational manual in this scenario. So it will automatically figure out where this is, synthesize this, you know, and you know, you can, you know, we, we have several different ways we vectorize the data and we understand and put the industrial context on top of the general data. So it knows that. And um, a filter is actually an oil filter that you are referring to. And if I want to, we also ingested all the parts pricing information. So you can say, what is the the price of um of of OLF one zero one? So uh, oops, sorry, I made a mistake. Uh, but it will figure this out. So if, even though if it's you know any case sensitive or on others, we have created. Uh, we have ingested the entire price list, and we have also ingested whether it is available or not, and it's whether it's in stock or not, and that data is also refreshed every day. So we can say, is it available? Um, and you will be able to, it again goes and queries the data model and says, yes, this is available, and it is available in stock at that particular price. So this is, this is this beautiful, Chinesh. This is beautiful. So you are able to figure out yeah. what, what the parts are for hyper personalization for that machine. You're able to ask, you don't have to make a phone call. You don't have to uh, send any emails. You're able to get this information right away at your fingertips. And then, yes, of course, if you still need help, you can always make a phone call. But, you know, for even for internal efficiency, this is beautiful, fantastic. And for customer experience, this is, this is great. So thank you. For, thank you very much. I think this is fantastic. Um, and feel free to ask any questions uh, that you have for Janesh. Uh, please uh, ask any questions and we'll cover them right at the end. So we have five more minutes um, and then we can uh, get to your questions. <clears throat> All right, so. There are obviously lots of direct benefits. You know, you want to increase your parts revenue. You want to reduce your returns. You want to in improve your internal efficiency. All of those are direct benefits to what you just saw, but from opportunities that this can drive for you, you know, we've got customers in printing and pharmaceutical business where they want to create consumable subscriptions. So now with this kind of personalized e-commerce, you can create, you know, subscription for maintenance kits, for solvents, for consumables, you can create those subscriptions. So again, it's peace of mind for the, for your customers. And again, it's recurring revenue for you from a parts perspective. We've got customers where parts identification is so complex, it, it goes through many different diagrams, many different components. And again, it takes, it takes many people to identify the right parts. And now that can be done in, in seconds or minutes. Uh, we've got you know, customers where this kind of chatbot is helping service technicians. And also we are linking IoT data stream to parts. So again, there are lots of different business models and business uh, go-to markets that you can enable with this kind of experience, which previously was not really possible, right? I think if, if you take three, four, five years ago, 
this kind of experience was very, very difficult. And now it is available, it's ready, and, and machinery manufacturers can take advantage of it. So I'll, I'll make this last point. Uh, POCs like these, you know, what we just showed, um, you know, usually takes one week um, to enable uh, enable this for you. Uh, so if you are interested in doing a POC, you know, feel free to reach out to us and, you know, with some pieces of information, we can design a POC and we can actually create um, a demo to show to your leaders and, you know, enable you to leap forward uh, to, your comp uh, to your competition. So feel free to let us know. Um, we have a number of customer testimonials. I think this one resonates a lot with us, which is, you know, you've enabled a 10 year old vision. I have always wanted to do this. This is something that, you know, uh, I have dreamt about, you know, coming from engineering, from service, from sales team. This is what I wanted to do. And Industry D was a trusted partner to that, to our success. So we've got lots of customer testimonials, more than happy to walk you through them. And finally, there are quite a lot of resources and other webinars. Please do find them on our on our website. But now is time for questions. If you have any questions for Jinesh or myself, more than happy to uh, to take you take you through them. Um, Jinesh, can you take a look at the Q and A panel? And if there are any questions, uh, yeah. can you can you take a look? So I can see two questions coming in. And, um, and thank you very much. So first question is. You know, uh, how do we, and uh, so this question is focused on the technology side of the thing. How, how, do, how does this work internally? Um, so now this is the core piece about why we are so excited about it and why this is so in, inventive in nature is today uh, data is dispersed everywhere. They are in different file formats. Some are in Excel files. 90% of the world still works in Excel. You know, there are different ERP systems with different file formats as well. And there are also different 3D for formats as well. There are more than, you know, 80 different uh, registered uh, uh, 3D formats to, to represent the industrial metaverse, which is extremely complex. And they don't talk to each other and they're very proprietary in nature. So what we have built is we have built um, a complete shim layer on top. We call it the sole GPT. Uh, um, which essentially takes data from all these different data silos uh, and and pivots them with the serial number information, puts them into a vector database, and defines a complete no, a rag pattern across from different models that securely stores your data, as well as you know um, uh, leverages some of the cloud best practices to ensure that you have the you know the right data coming out of that platform now yes with every data there's a second question is how accurate is this and that's why i'm going to also focus on this data has you know ai is having a little bit of hallucination as they call they might not be accurate at first but 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 the beauty about it is it it gets better and better uh, and, over time, it gets better, just like your old wine gets better. That AI will get trained. You look at this, you see that the response is coming back. You say, yes, it is working. It is a good response. It goes back into the feedback loop and it it will it, it uh, trains the, the engine saying that this was the right output as well. So if you're looking for certain parts and it does not come up with the right level of parts, you know, you will you know have the opportunity to recorrect that as well. And over time, in in few days, this will also get in the right fashion because it's continuously training as well. So on t by offering this, you know, all the data that you have in different silos, applying a natural language interface to it, this becomes a very compelling way to attract your customers, keep selling your parts, um, and because you're making it extremely easy for them to sell parts, they will come back to you, and you can have the right revenue and the right profitability for your parts. 